Hello Collector and welcome to a new coin review. If this is your first time on my channel, go hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. This way you will be notified every time I upload a new coin review. Today we take a closer look at the commemorative 2 euro coin from 2007, which celebrates the 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome. All euro area countries mark this occasion by jointly issuing this commemorative coin. Each version, in a total of 17, differs in the inscription that is present at the top, middle and bottom of the inner core of the coin. On these places, you can find on each coin the phrase Treaty of Rome, 50 years, Europe and the name of the issuing country in the language of the euro area country that issued the coin or in Latin. Other differences also include the mint marks of the issuing country that you can find in the inner core of the coin and the inscription along the edge of the coin. The one I hold in my hands was issued by the Netherlands and indicates that accordingly at the bottom with the name of the country in Dutch as well as at the top where you can find the phrase Treaty of Rome 50 years in Dutch and also in the middle where you can find the inscription Europe in Dutch. The mint mark of the Royal Dutch Mint can be found at the button and is represented by Mercury's wand. Slightly to the left is the sailboat, which is the Mintmaster's mark of Martin Brouwer. Where east, the edge of the Dutch 2 euro coins have the inscription God, Star, Zij, Star, Met, Star, Ons, Star, meaning God be with us in Dutch. The design of this coin was selected following a competition organized by the European Mint. It depicts the treaty document signed by the six founding countries on a background evoking the paving designed by Michelangelo of the Piazza del Campidoglio in Rome, where the signing took place on the 25th of March in 1957. Among the six signing countries were Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and West Germany. The Treaty of Rome established the European Economic Community and ultimately led to the introduction of the Euro in 1999 and the Euro banknotes and coins in 2002. As with every other Euro coin, the coins outer ring depicts the 12 stars of the European Union. Although the Euro also started with 12 countries in 2002, the reason for the 12 stars on the Euro coins and the European flag is a different one. The Council of Europe described the symbolism of the flag in 1955 in Paris as follows. Against the blue sky of the Western world, the star symbolized the people of Europe in the form of a circle, a sign of union. Their number is invariably 12, the figure 12 being the symbol of perfection and entirety. On the reverse of the coin we have a geographical map of Europe, which covers the outer ring and the inner core on the right side of the coin. The 12 stars of the European Union appear on the right side of the outer ring, 6 stars at the top of the map and 6 stars below it, which are visually connected by 6 vertical stripes that cut across the inner core of the coin. Superimposed over the map of Europe is the inscription 2 euro, the face value of this coin. The euro's common reverse was designed by Luc Luix, a designer at the Royal Belgian Mint. His initials, the double L, are seen on the right side of the design, just under the L. This coin was released in 2007 with an issuing volume of approximately 87 million coins among all European countries. The version right here was issued by the Royal Dutch Mint with an issuing volume of 6.5 million coins. That was all for today. Let me know in the comments which coin you want me to review next. And if you watched this video until the end, go hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.